everybody this is Nanduram and we are from Sonu Academy today we are going to explain about environmental studies class 3 CBSC syllabus today our topic is water oh water in this lesson we are going to learn about need and uses of water I will wash my face with water Munna said to his nani nani said okay it is good after washing your face clean your face and come here Today we will discuss about the needs and importance of water. We all conch our trust with water. We are all alive because of water. Water has been with us for ages. Its story can fill so many pages. The first stanza tells us about the importance and need of the water. From this stanza we learn that water is useful for all living things. Without water, living things cannot survive on the earth. We use water in different ways. We need water for drinking, bathing, washing, cleaning our houses. We get drinking water from rivers, lakes, wells, rain, etc. We store drinking water in our homes in pots and tanks. Let us see the second stanza. Somewhere it is dew. Somewhere it is snow. Steam is also water. As you know, water has formed so many. That is what says my nani. In this stanza, we are going to learn about water forms changes into dew, snow and steam. Dew. Dew is the change of water from vapor to a liquid. Dew is the water form of droplets that appear on thin and exposed objects in the morning or evening due to condensation. While going for walking or morning or evening, you may observe dew particles on the roadside, in especially in winter season. They can cool the temperature by shading us from the sunlight and heat. Snow Snow is a small, soft, white pieces of ice that sometimes fall from the sky. When temperature comes to minus degrees, then the water droplets changes into snow. Sometimes it may fall from the sky. You can also see snow in Simla during winter season. Steam. Steam is a form of water vapor. When water is boiled at 100 degrees centigrade, the water changes into gas. This gas we can call as water vapor. From this stanza, we came to know that water has three states of matter. It can change us into liquids, solids and gases. Let us see the third stanza. In third stanza, when the river flow, the waterfalls sing and water swells in lakes and springs. Life on earth it has brought, water fills and life they got. But when the water breaks into floods, there is a great misfortune, it always works. This stanza tells about that the life on the earth is brought by water. And when the water breaks into floods, there is a primary effect for us. Let us know what are the primary effects we get suffer from floods. The primary effects of floodings includes loss of life, damage to buildings and other structures including bridges, sewage, systems, roadways and canals. Floods also frequently damage power transmission and sometimes power generation. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy.